Hi everyone. Uh, the topic that we are going to cover in this lecture is uh, infix to prefix conversion using stacks. That is how we convert an infix expression to you can say prefix expression using uh, stacks. There are other ways to perform the same operation, but in this particular lecture, we will target the use of stacks as a data structure. So for that, the first uh, thing we need here is an expression. So let's write an expression in order to convert it into the prefix notation. So let's take an example of uh, an expression a b plus c. Um, a b a plus b multiply by c minus d plus f let's say we have this infix expression and we want to convert into the prefix expression so the first step for do doing this or performing this conversion is we have to like reverse it okay reverse the given expression so by reversing the given expression what we get is f plus d minus c multiply by b plus a that is exactly the flip version of um, the given expression which is a plus b multiplied by c minus d plus f like this after reversing this particular expression next uh, thing you should do is before applying any logic or anything else just create a table directly go for creating a table okay so ta what element should we record on the table or what should be the column of the table that is uh, one is uh, character that is, we will visit this expression character by character. The second column will be of stack. That is, what is the element um, or what is the particular uh, character that we are going to put in the stack? And the final one is our expression. Okay. Before going into detail, you must remember that ma um, mathematics rule states power, TVN, multiplication addition and subtraction p d mass which means that power has the greatest precedence and then uh, division and then multiplication then addition and the subtraction is the the operator having the lowest or uh, lowest or uh, the minimum precedence as compared to these uh, the other operators over here okay now what we do is we start evaluating this expression that we have just reversed uh, by character by character we will split this string into characters so first character we receive is f okay so whenever whenever this is rule that whenever you encounter an operand not operator not not anything from them you will directly place it in the your final expression not in the stack only these operators will become the part of your uh, final stack okay geez. so the next thing we have a next character we encounter on from this equation is plus so plus will go directly to the stack not to our final expression our expression will remain as it is then we encounter d character d is another operand operand not operator so the plus at the stack from this step will remain as it is and we will get get fd in the uh, our expression so next op operator that we will get is the minus so now in stack we already have plus we encountered minus so there's another rule that states if you have encounter a character having equal to or low precedence as compared to the topmost element of the stack then what you do is you will pop out all those operators having higher or equal precedence than the character you have encountered so here plus will pop out and minus will become the part of our stack okay gee. i hope this is clear so uh, next character that we have encountered is c so c will become the part of our final expression again we encounter which operator multiplication now you can see in stack we already have minus so we have an operator which is of having less precedence as compared to this one so it has no uh, problem having a higher precedence operator on the top you can take it like this i'll give the example of this thing as if you uh, if you are a student at any given particular university so uh, there is always a faculty member assigned to a course to some students okay so they basically governs the class or teaches you in a way that's appropriate not, uh, not the other way around so you can uh, think of it like this that the operator having higher precedence will always sit on the top uh, if you encounter any character having low or equal precedence than the already existing operator on the stack then the uh, you can say uh, 
you will basically pop out or do some operations accordingly so at this point we have plus that is of having high precedence as compared to this so this will pop up at this point minus we have encountered an operator that is having low precedence so multiplication will come on the top of minus and our final expression will remain unchanged so after multiplication we encounter an opening bracket so opening bracket will also become a part of your stack not your final expression so your expression will remain same then we have encountered b minus multiplication remain the same and b will become the part of you can say our expression then we encounter plus since you know we have opening bracket here so it has nothing to do with the elements that are placed or put before uh, this particular uh, you can say bracket so we will insert or push pop on this tag and our final expression fd plus cb will remain same then we have encountered another uh, operand that is a which will become a part of our you can say final expression so this expression will become c b and a okay after a we have got a closing bracket here so closing bracket will uh, do what basically all the elements that are pushed into the stack till its corresponding opening bracket that is here you can see i am like bolding this particular opening bracket this is the corresponding opening bracket for this closing bracket that we have encountered so all the operators that are placed after this uh, opening bracket will be popped out so we have get plus c b a and plus in the output now you can see here that our expression has concluded there are no more characters in the given um, expression but we have got two operators on this stack so we will pop them out one by one so our final expression will become fd plus c b a plus multiplication and then we are left with the minus here and in next step minus will be pop out so fd plus c b a plus multiplication and minus now here we have received a, or we have formulated a and other expression as you can see here okay but this is not our final prefix expression so in order to get prefix expression what we do is in order to convert into you can say prefix notation what we do is basically we will uh, reverse this particular you can say uh, this particular given uh, expression or particular expression that we have encountered so far so by reversing this our final expression will become minus multiplication plus a b c plus d and f that is exactly the you can say flipped version of the expression that we just have uh, figured out so this expression that i have uh, you can say highlighted in black box represents the uh, prefix notation and this whole procedure is uh, this uh, procedure for conversion uh, for the conversion of any infix expression to prefix expression using stacks that's it for today's lecture uh, thank you for watching if you like my video do give it a like and subscribe my channel